I wanted to show you my 3D printed bat house that I designed. Uh, there'll be a link in the description where you can download the files to 3D print it. There's a part of this video towards the end that explains to you how to put it all together and attach it to the pole. The bats are coming out about 30 minutes before dark. This particular night I counted over a hundred bats coming out during this video. These bats are what they call little brown bats. They're about two to four ounces and they're about two to four inches in size. The wingspan is between eight and a half and ten and a half inches. They sleep around 20 hours per day. And they can average 12 miles per hour, but can fly as fast as 22 at times. This house here could probably hold close to 500 bats. Bats are good at controlling insects. They eat half their body weight every night. They're most active a couple of hours after sunset. At the end of the video, I'll give an update on my 3D printed indoor beehive. This is a video of the inside of the bat house before the bats flew out of it. I got a little small camera that I run up inside it. This is looking straight up at them. The bats are hanging in the bat house upside down. They're packed in there pretty tight. Uh, there was over a hundred of them in here, so they're they're pretty snug. There is still plenty of room in here for up to 500 bats probably. They just like to get really tight together inside the house. For this project, you're going to need to 3D print four bat house sides, and they'll need to be printed in black filament. And you're going to need to have a lid 3D printed. You're going to need some screws, four number eight three quarter inch screws, nine number six one inch screws, 
and you're going to want these screws to be sheet metal screws where the bottom of the head is flat. You're not going to want to use uh, screws like drywall screws or regular wood screws where the head is tapered underneath. You want it to be like this so that when it tightens up it'll it won't split the plastic. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need a drill with a screw bit. You're going to need a staple gun and an old towel or a piece of cloth. And you're going to need a 16 foot 4x4. To put the bath house together, first thing you do is you'll take the sides and you'll just line up the corners and you'll put a screw in some holes that are 3D printed in there. You'll just put the screw right in the corner. You got one here and you got one down here. If you just keep your corners lined up, you'll go right in. Now, I printed this in black, but after you finish assembling it at all, you'll want to probably paint it white if you live in the south like I do, because I had a problem with a bat house I had a few years ago. I painted it black because that's what the internet had suggested, because they said that bats like, like it to be really hot, and so... I painted it black like they suggested and then one day during the summer when the temperature got up to about 100 degrees I went out there and there was a bunch of dead bats at the bottom of my bat house and I decided that they had just gotten too hot so I took it down painted it white and put it back up and it took a while, but some more bats came and moved in, and I never had that problem again. So my suggestion would be to just go ahead and paint it white to begin with. Uh, if you live up north, you might could paint it black and it would be okay. But if you live in the south, I live in South Carolina, and it gets pretty hot here in the summer. Once you get all your sides put together, you uh, you got to get your your post ready to go. So you're gonna need a 16 foot four by four, and you'll need to put it in the ground about a foot and a half to uh, two feet, something like that, because the the bat house needs to be anywhere from 14 to 15 feet off the ground, because uh, they like it to be very high up, and they want it in a very open spot you don't want to have it around near trees and things that they, they like it to be way out in the open and they prefer to have um a drinking supply somewhere close by like a pond or a lake because i've watched them as soon as they come out they immediately go down and start scooping up water out of the pond so you want to make sure you have it near a pond or a lake or something like that now on your post before you put it in the ground, it'd be easier if you go ahead and attach your house to it. So there's a couple things you need to do. You need to put some screws in this post. You need to come down, measure 10 inches down because that's how far this is. So you come down 10 inches, already put, mar put marks on here at 10 inches. So you just put a screw in there. Don't screw it all the way in. Leave it sticking out about a half inch. Okay. 
I'm going to just put one on all four sides. They come down about 10 inches with this screw. Then you're going to need to take your towel or your cloth and you're going to need to attach it right below the, where the screws are at. So just take your stapler and staple it to it. Once you get your towel attached to the post right below the screws, you can then put your house on. Now this is the, the house here. In the top you'll see there are four compartments here. And these are nursery areas where the bats can come up into the top from there's a hole here. And they'll come up here and have their babies up here in the top of it. The rest of the bats will just hang out in these divided sections here and they'll just hang on the sides inside here there's little grooves for them to hang on to but you'll just take your bat house and slide it down over the top of the 4x4 and they'll sit on those screws and then you just take your top and it has a hole in the center of it put that on there and put your screw in the top of it And it's ready to be put in the ground now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I wanted to give you an update on my 3D printed indoor beehive. It's been nine weeks since I put the bees in the hive. And they are doing very well. They have completely filled up this first section and I added a second section and they filled it and then I added this third section here this third section here that you're looking at now they have filled it with sugar water I'm not sure where they're getting the sugar water from because I stopped feeding them sugar water when I added this section uh, I think they must be getting it from my neighbors hummingbird feeders I think but they're doing very well though they've filled up all of those and I'm 3d printing a fourth hive right now I've opened up my flow hive and they're going down inside there and hopefully it won't be long before they'll be uh, putting honey inside there I hope you enjoyed watching my videos and if if you ha do enjoy watching them hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Uh, thank you for watching.